Every morning in the Bombay Stock Exchange, brokers come and pray before this idol of Lord Ganesh before they start trading on the floor. The prayers may be chanted in different languages, but all of them carry the same message, a plea for unbounded profits. For the past one week, the prayers of the brokers seem to have been answered. Never before in the 150-year history of the Bombay Stock Exchange has the market witnessed trading as hectic as today. Never before have the bulls charged so ferociously. And never before has the BSE sensitive index reflected a truer picture of India's economy. The current boom in the stock market, with the Sensex continuing to maintain its position over the 4,600 mark, is in stark contrast to the scam-tainted boom of 1992-93. The earlier boom was whimsical and not based on strong fundamentals. Even scripts of sick and loss-making companies zoomed because they caught the fancy of highly liquid investors like Harshad Mehta. The money flow at that particular time was far more than the floating stocks. And the operators which came into that were very hard operators because the money was easy in their hand and they could play with that money and uh, take the prices to their liking. And that is what happened. The fundamentals were not that strong. Foreign financial institutions have found India to be one of the favorite emerging global markets and have pumped in almost $2.5 billion in the Indian bourses. The positive response to euro issues raised by Indian companies abroad has also added to the general euphoria. Structural changes introduced by the Stock Exchange Regulatory Board of India also contributed a good deal. The ban on forward trading, in particular, has virtually led to the disappearance of rumour-based trading on the Group A shares, as a result of which investment has spread into the Group B shares. Thanks to all these factors, brokers are confident that the BSC index will continue to hover above the 4,600 mark in the coming weeks. With corporate companies expected to announce improved half-yearly results, market pundits are hopeful that the Sensex will touch the historic 5,000 mark by the end of the year. By the end of the year, I do feel, by the end of the financial year, it should cross definitely more than 5,000 because the working results of all the corporate bodies, which will be forthcoming now in October and November, they should be far, far better than the last six corresponding months. With radical market reforms like futures and options trading in the offing and the general economy of the country continuing to be on a sound board, it is certain that the broker's invocations for profitable days will continue to be answered.